what is the difference between an inventor, an applicant and an assignee? This is a very important question because people usually get confused between these three terms and in layman terms these three terms inventor, applicant and assignee are used interchangeably because we don't understand the difference but in legal terms there is a different meaning, there is a different connotation associated with each of these three words. So it is really important if you are into patent filing procedures and you are a researcher or an inventor and usually tend to there is a need to for you to file a patent application you need to understand the difference between these three terms that what is the difference between an applicant, an inventor and an assignee. So in today's video, I am going to answer you what exactly is the difference between these three terms and after the completion of this video, if there is still any kind of doubt that remains, then you can always write in the comment box and I'll try to answer your question in the most timely manner. Plus, if you are an inventor and you are likely to have more such kinds of questions uh, in the future as well and you have such kinds of doubts, you can always subscribe to my channel because I'll be answering more such questions which always comes in the mind of an inventor in my coming videos as well. So let's get started. See the first term which is an inventor. The inventor is a person who actually contributes towards an invention. This is the person who, who is actually conceptualizing the idea or invention which is to be patented. So an inventor conceptualizes the idea the pers this person contributes towards the conversion of this idea into practice and this can be a person or a group of people. This can be a, an individual or a group of individuals. So this individual or a group of individuals are those who collectively or a single person may be help in conceptualization of or contributes towards the conversion of an idea into practice or conceptualize even in the mind itself then that person is an inventor. An inventor can never be a company. An inventor is always an individual. An inventor cannot be a robot also. You have to be a living individual to be able to conceptualize an idea. So that is an inventor. Plus after filing a patent application, you cannot change inventor name unless there is a case that there is some kind of a grammatical or logical mistake in the maybe some spelling mistake in the name of the inventor then you can always file form number 13 and there should not be any kind of deceptive intent in changing in replacing one inventor from another inventor. If there is no such case, then you can always change the spelling mistake which may be some error um, some while filing the patent application but you cannot replace one inventor from another because this, this is usually not the case. So this is all about an inventor. Coming to the next term which is an assignee. See assignee is a person who has ownership interests in the legal rights which a patent provides you, which a patent provides you, what exactly are the legal rights, this assignee has an ownership interest in that and hence this can be an individual or an organization which employs the inventor. This can always be the case, this is actually the case, then assignee, that assignee is actually an organization, a company or an educational institution which employs the inventor and they usually tend to have some kind of ownership interest in the uh, legal rights which a patent gives after filing and grant of the patent application. And this can be a company, this can be an individual and later, in later stages as well, assignee name can be changed depending on the business strategy of that organization, this name can always be changed because uh, the tenure of a patent application duration and expiry date is always up to 20 years so within that duration of time business strategies usually change every day or every year so you can always change the assignee name depending on the requirements of your organization but inventor name cannot be changed. Coming to the third term which is applicant we need to understand who exactly is the applicant in the patent application an applicant is a person who has the right to file the patent application. So who has the right to file the patent application? 
the right to file the patent application can uh, be with the inventor the person who has conceptualized the idea contributed towards the invention or this may be an assignee having person some kind of ownership interest in that patent application this may be an entity or an uh, individual who employs the inventor and the third category can be a legal representative of a deceased inventor or assignee actually the person may expire while uh, conceptualizing the idea so there may be a legal representative of that person also who always has the right to file the patent application on his or her behalf so out of these three anyone can file the patent application depending on the approval of the other parties and so this person who files the patent application is an applicant an applicant can be an individual or an entity it can be an organization as well and it can be an individual or a group of individuals as well coming to one last important statement which i would like to add on here is that usually the companies organizations or educational institutions which employ inventors which employ uh, some group of people they tend to sign some kind of employment contracts with their employees under this employment contract it's always written and usually the case that whatever the patent uh, whatever the invention they come up with they conceptualize within the duration of their employment that will be automatically provided uh, to the company as an ownership interest that means the rights of those patents which are granted or filed within the span of that employment contract or employment uh, with the company always that company has ownership for those patents so it's always like an automatic uh, uh, belonging of the patent application by that company as an assignee if you are working for that company and what exactly are the reasons they give for this is what exactly are the reasons mentioned for this kind of uh, ownership transfer is that you are working during the official hours for that technology secondly you are working under some manager or supervisor who is also an employee of that company so you are being supervised by the company for that technology and thirdly you are given salary for working on that technology you are being employed by that company one more thing is that you are using the resources of that company resources of that educational institution or a corporate and hence you are using their assets their resources so it's automatic it's it's for sure that whatever technology you conceptualize using their resources and using their uh, supervision their official hours their salaries should automatically be handed over to them as uh, as ownership so this is always the case which i i i felt like including in my video and i hope i have made it very clear that what exactly is the difference between an inventor and applicant and an assignee and if still you are having any kind of doubt you can always write in the comment box and i'll answer you back with the relevant answers plus if you are having such kind of more questions you can um, um you can tell me in the comment bo box which are those questions and i'll prepare a video on that as well and if you are likely to have more such kind of questions you can subscribe to my channel because i'll be uploading more such videos in my coming weeks also so thank you so much